All right there. How's it going? Uh, this is the next part um, for the videos. And the last, the last part, the last video we did was uh, programming the EEPROMs and uh, verifying that they work, putting them on the test cartridge, and checking them out on the uh, on an actual console to make sure they work. Uh, they all work fine. So, and this one is going to be just uh, getting them ready, putting them on the board, and then soldering them uh, to the board and the jumpers. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, get your pins lifted and up out of the way. All I do is fold the leg over the pin and then lift the pin up a little bit. You can see that. This is the program. So it's uh, pins uh, 1 and 2 and then pins 31 and 30 and pin 24 for the program. For the character, which I haven't done yet, see how they normally start off. Uh, for the character, it's going to be 1 and 2, 31 and 30 and then 24 and 2. Go ahead and get those up out of the way. Could have done this ahead of time, but... So, let's see here. This is just how I do it. Uh, some people actually, you know, cut the legs and then lift up the, the, uh, the little uh, bit that's above them. Uh, some people won't even bother with that. They'll just uh, cut the traces on the board. And then run your pen, run your uh, your jumper wires from there. Uh, this is how I started off doing it, so this is just what I stuck with. Just you know, creature habit. So you just got to be real careful with them. You don't have many bends in these legs; they're not made to be bent. So if you bend it too far, too fast, or too many times, they'll just snap right off. So there you go for the character. From pins, uh, you can see this at all. Pins one and two, 31. Yeah, pin a light a little bit. 31 and 30, and 20, 24 and 22. So we're just gonna put this on the board now. Assuming it goes in there, I might have to wiggle. Oh, left out on that one. So characters in. And program went in pretty, pretty smoothly. So now they're on. All we gotta do is make sure they stay on. So we're gonna solder them to the board. My soldering technique, I'll be the first to say, sucks. So I don't need any comments about it. Comment if you want. Don't care. You don't read the comments anyway. All I do is just tack a couple of legs first. And then I do a real lazy like on long runs. I usually don't even lift the soldering iron up, just run with it. And remember, there's going to be holes there. Where we lifted those legs up, don't fill those holes in. And you can if you want, but you'll just have to clear them out in the next couple minutes anyway to actually run the jumper wires. Soldering iron I'm using is just a little cheapo uh, Radio Shack, uh, little little dual temp guy. Goes from gotta get some more solder. Uh, goes from 20 watts to 40 watts, and 40 watt is a little high, but at 20 watt it just takes too freaking long to get the solder to flow. So I just try to offset that by working a little bit quicker. If you get a soldering iron from Radio Shack, they sell these little 15 watt jobbers. Uh, yeah, it seems to be all right. Uh, they sell those little 15 watt guys. And uh, be honest, 
I've had next to no luck with them. They're 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 just terrible for me. So there we go. Those are on there uh, just temporarily right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the jumper wires. Um, I guess go ahead and start with program, and we'll go from the hole on pin two. Actually, I shouldn't say from pit hole and pin in the same sense. We'll go from the hole for, crap, I don't know how to put it. The hole for what would be pin two, the one that's lifted. From the hole from that to the actual lifted pin for number 30. I usually don't do these one at a time, so bear with me. do this. This is absolutely the, the worst way to do it, but it works for me, so whatever. Just get a little solder on the soldering iron, and then just tap it at that pin. Holds pretty good. There we go. So, that's on now. And now we got to do the other side. And this could take a few minutes. Luckily, I think I have over 15 minutes of video time from my YouTube account, so so uh, I'll be able to do it, and it might just have to be in a couple couple parts. So the next pin, since the other side is not tinned, and I always manage to lose my stuff. There we go. I'm a little flux needle here, and just put a little. Oh, that is a lot problem with doing it with a needle. There we go, it's a dab. And that's just to help the solder uh, stick that bare copper a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. Yeah, that'll work. Tin it. And a little bit of solder on the actual leg chip. And then just touch it down. Like that. And she's good. I keep dropping stuff all over the place here. All right, next one. It's going to be from pin one, or for the hole for pin one, I'm sorry. The hole for pin one. To pin 30. I hope I said these right. If not, I'll just have to put a comment up. Like, I'm sure this one's right. So as soon as I said that, I kept thinking maybe the first one, I didn't say it right. So the first one was, just to recap, oh, crap, from pin, from the hole for pin 2 to the actual pin for 31. And then the second one is going to be the hole for pin 1 to the actual pin of 30. So 2 to 31, 1 to 30. And just, there we go. A little bit of flux. A little bit of solder. It's already on the soldering iron. And you see it's already attached. And I, honestly, I think that, that even that crap connection that it has right now would hold. But, you know what? There's nothing wrong with doing it right, you know? You're probably not even able to see anything because of the freaking shadow. I've only got one light in here, so I'm, I'm sorry. And unfortunately, it is up this way, so it's behind where it ideally should be. All right, next one. Moving right along. All right, the next one is going to be... I always do it from the hole first. That way it gives me an anchor. But it's going to be from the hole for pin 24... Fire down in there. There we go. The hole for pin 24. And let me tack that in. And 
I'm just tagging this one in right now. I forgot to do the second one, but ideally you want to do one at a time. As soon as you put it in, tack each side down. But I skipped one. Turned out okay. No worries. Let's cut that to length. Use God God given wire strippers, my teeth. Which I would really recommend you get to doing. Because it's not good for your teeth, but teeth, but my dentist just loves the crap out of me for doing this. Sure. There we go. So the hole for twenty four from here to the actual pin for the pin two. So bend the wire in place, get it ready. And we'll tack it down after I put a little a little flux on it. It doesn't take much. It takes less than a drop of flux to get it ready. Tin the wire. Using just what's left over in the soldering iron. If you notice a, a pattern here, you can just go ahead and... Uh, sorry, I had a little, little bit of go-go juice. A little bit ago. So my hand's shaking. I had a monster energy drink, so I am heavily caffeinated and taurinated right now. There we go. But ideally, uh, ideally, I keep saying that, if you wanted to, you could tin all the, the legs that are sticking up, which I'll probably go ahead and do for the character, um, the character you prom, because it does save maybe just a smidge of time, because you're not always having to pick up the soldering iron and put it back down after every friggin' leg. And the next one's going to be from uh, actual pin for 24 to ground. Uh, the easiest place for me to pick up ground is actually on the last leg up here. Now, if you're looking at, uh, for, for most EPROMs, for most, for most ICs, uh, counting across the last pin that's going to be on the same side as pin 1 is, is going to be, um, going to be a ground. So I guess when it's, uh, what, pin 16? Go ahead and tin that up. There we go. And attach one side of the wire. I'm sorry, this shadow is just, just terrible. I'm really sorry. makes any any better. I can't see what the crap I'm doing either, so we're in the same boat. Yeah, see it's not even connected. There we go. That guy. Light situation sucks, doesn't it? Sorry folks. Too far in it to redo the video now. show you when I get uh, when I get this put on and I'll probably stop the video and then pick back up again doing the character character um, deep run She's connected. So that's the program, uh, ROM. That's done. That's it. If I can get a good view here, it should be all right. So to the holes on uh, to the holes to the holes from one and two here, which are actually you know down here, to the actual pins for 31 and 30. Yeah. You know, and then from uh, from the hole for 24 
to the actual pin for two. And then from the hole, or reverse that, from the actual pin for 24 to ground, which I always pick up off the last leg, off of, off of uh, leg 16, pin 16. So there we go, that's the program. And I'm going to cut the video. I guess I'll do it in another part just to make sure I don't overlap. And then it'll be the next part will be the character, EEPROM, then uh, slapping it in a case, putting it in a Nintendo, and testing it out. So I'll see you guys in a minute.